I was no fan of Teresa's, but trying on her clothes like Rebecca just did it was so crossing the line. Yeah, there's no way that Rebecca could fit into Teresa's clothes. Is it safe to come in, or is Pilar going to attack me again? Why are you here, Rebecca? I came to get a drink. Oh, is there no end to your insensitivity? You know, I will never understand the ways of the peasant class, but okay, I get it. I mean, I guess if Gwen had been eaten by a shark, I guess I'd be upset too. You guess? The point is, if I upset you, Pilar, I'm sorry. It's not like anybody died. I mean, oh, well, I mean, except for Teresa. <laughs> Crass, horrible woman. You know, I am going to take that as your grief talking. Rebecca! Oh. We're planning an informal service here for Teresa. Why don't you go someplace else? No, trust me, it won't bother me. Oh my God, it's inexcusable. What? Oh. Was I supposed to pour you all some champagne too? The hell is she doing here? Drinking as usual. I told Rebecca not to leave town after Ivy was stabbed. You know, she lives here in the mansion. She can be here if she wants, unfortunately. And she's being so insensitive. There's a special place in hell for people like her. Don't let her get to you, Mama. I can't help it, Mijo. That is as dead, and this woman can barely contain her glee. I can relate to Pilar losing a child. My own poor sweet fox murdered. I didn't want that either, Ivy. Part of me still loved Fox, despite our problems. Oh, please. I just hope my last living son, Ethan, can make a life with Gwen for the sake of the children. 